hello everyone i hope you all are doing well now today in this video i am going to discuss about the joining formalities at iisc bangalore uh, for integrated phd program but uh, for other programs also like uh, msc uh, the formalities are almost same uh, the admission fee is different but uh, the other formalities are more or less similar now i will be discussing about the admission fees about the medical examinations uh, which you have to go through before joining and several vaccines you, which you have to take before joining the institute now first of all uh, this is the admission offer letter which i received uh, as the date is mentioned here in the month of may uh, 30th may i received the offer letter now along with the offer letter uh, there are few information uh, regarding the fees like uh, here you can see the one time admission fee is 33450 rupees so approximately uh, 35000 rupees which is the one time uh, admission fee now apart from the one time admission fee there are few uh, hostel and mess charges which is 45000 rupees uh, of which 20000 rupees is hostel security deposit uh, which will be refunded after uh, like during you, you are leaving the institute and 25,000 rupees is hostel and mess advance which will be adjusted during the initial few months like uh, for the initial two or three months you don't need to pay the uh, mess charge or hostel or mess charge uh, after the amount is exhausted you will be billed monthly for the hostel and mess charge so here you can uh, consider like 35,000 plus 45,000 approximately 80,000 rupees you have to pay uh, to the institute during joining now for the initial 35,000 rupees um, uh, is mandatory uh, mandatorily you have to pay uh, before joining to confirm your admission now for the 45,000 rupees you can either pay uh, before joining the institute through online or you, or you can also pay during document verification physical document verification but uh, if you plan to pay during the document verification process there might be some network issue inside the campus there are several locations where the network strength is not that well therefore you might face uh, several issues so if possible try to pay the whole amount uh, before joining the institute uh, which will uh, make the rest process smoother now apart from the amount there are several other things which you have to perform first of all there are several consent forms from the student from the uh, parents uh, regarding anti-ragging regarding the behavior uh, and <clears throat> other forms are there also like not using the motorized vehicle uh, there are something consent forms which you have to fill up uh, you have to sign and you have to submit during admission now the another section is the form regarding medical examination now in this section uh, you have to go through several examinations now uh, first section is the uh, section by md in general medicine now here are a few details here you can see you have to fill up all the details and after you have filled up all the details you have to visit a, a doctor md in general medicine and he will validate all the details and he will give his seal and signature uh, to authenticate the information now the second section is the vaccination section which is very important uh, here is the list of nine vaccines now generally few vaccines you have taken in your early childhood like bcg dpt mmr or most of us are vaccinated with covid 19 now for the vaccines which we have taken during our childhood we have to take the latest booster doses and the vaccines which we have not taken we have to take the first injection now i have taken hepatitis a and typhoid vaccine before joining the institute and each of them costed around 3000 rupees therefore two vaccines costed around 6000 rupees now uh, whenever our medical examination was done in the institute uh, they told me to take another two or three vaccines especially the booster doses which I had not taken and uh, I guess that would also cost around six to eight thousand rupees mm, so 
the cost of vaccines are quite higher now apart from vaccinations you have to visit eye specialist like a ophthalmologist and he the doctor will examine your eyes and uh, the doctor will fill the form and uh, he will authenticate the information with his signature and seal and after that you have to visit ENT specialist uh, for hearing test and audiometry and after examination the doctor will authenticate the information by giving his seal and signature now the last section is uh, several other physiological tests like ECG, chest x-ray, uh, whole abdomen ultrasonography, urine test, cerebral blood test now if you go to uh, perform all the examinations in a good laboratory uh, good diagnostic center all of them will cost around at least uh, four to five thousand rupees in total now therefore for medical test approximately 15 to 20 thousand rupees you have to uh, pay extra not to the institute but uh, you have to pay by yourself and it is mentioned in the application form that the uh, money you are paying for uh, medical test will not be reimbursed therefore <coughs> these are the several other forms uh, which you have to fill now the thing is uh, I don't know uh, how important all the medical test and vaccinations are here but they usually say that here you have to go through a rigorous uh, study schedule uh, lab schedule uh, therefore you have to go through all these medical examinations and vaccinations um, and this is the compulsory university policy so this was all so uh, to conclude everything you have to pay 80,000 rupees to the institute and apart from that there is additional 15 to 20,000 rupees which you have to pay for your medical examination now that's all now if you have any specific question regarding the admission process you can ask me in the comment section I will try to reply as soon as possible and thank you for your patience thank you very much